Use the digital introduction. I find it's very, very, very important that agents actually invest in a high quality video. They show the emotion and when people see that, they see you more of it as a person rather than just a photo. If you, know, you see just a photo, you could just be another real estate agent. There's no emotional connection. Why is it that a comic book worldwide sales could be, I don't know, a few hundred thousand, but if that comic book is turned into a Marvel movie, you're talking about $1 billion. That's the same thing. It's because motion picture generates emotion. Emotion is what sells. A lot of the times when I actually win business, it's because people have actually seen my videos. So that's why it's very important to invest in videos. And a good profile video could be a couple of thousand dollars and it's worth doing. You probably do it once every year or two years, but it's your face there. You know, if people are buying you, you need to get people to emotionally buy you first and then they justify logically. From my whole life, my experiences, my contacts, how can I add value to people over there? Do I have an edge over there? What has really helped me out is that you gotta really pick your market right. Pick a market where the people get along with you. There's no right or wrong, it's a market that actually suits you, that has a turnover. The majority of my sellers that I have on board is because I've kept in touch for quite a long period of time. I actually use real Ted to, to send it out, actually pretty much all of them. It's like, how do you work on your network offline? How do you bring them online? It has to be the right kind of people. If the kind of buyers and sellers you're after, they're in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and you're going on, on TikTok, and none of your clientele goes on TikTok, then you're kind of marketing the wrong people. If they have a better relationship with one agent because of a recommendation with a friend, they'll buy from that agent rather than another agent if everything else is similar. Word of mouth is very, very important. The higher up you go, the more trust is taken into account. Give them a story rather than just numbers with price updates. I write things that is very helpful to people. I've heard about the real estate market, about touching your house up for sale, and also have a newsletter that goes out to over 14,000 subscribers every two weeks as well. In my professional network, I don't just help people out with buying or selling. If someone is having relationship issues, I refer them to a lawyer or I refer them to a relationship counselor. I don't make money from that. So all the people that I refer to, they make it happen. I'm the person that they go to if they need help with some parts of their life. If you help people with other parts of their life, even though it's nothing to do with real estate, they remember you and then word gets around. That's kind of how it works.